everybody. Thank you for joining us at Sweet Farm for story time in the chicken yard. Today we are going to be reading Gwen the Rescue Hen. Written by Leslie Crawford. Hen's eyes pop open. She has been dreaming again. For just that moment, the in-between time when you're leaving a dream and not quite awake, Hen is happy. In her dream, she can spread her wings wide, as wide as they can go. Then she flaps them the way she's always wanted to and lifts herself off the ground. In her dream, she can fly. But Hen is awake now. She looks in front of her to the left, to the right, and up and down. Everywhere, so many chickens just like her sitting here day after day with barely enough room to turn around. She doesn't remember how she got here. She doesn't remember being born, but who does? All she does is that she's always, all she knows is that she's always been in this place dreaming of something more. Suddenly, a chilly draft slides over Hen, giving her goosebumps, which is funny since she's a chicken. But this is no laughing matter because Hen hears something big. Whoosh! The wind is howling so loudly the chickens start to squawk and screech, warning each other to run. But of course they can't run. All they can do is stay, trembling to the very ends of their feathers. The noise grows into a monstrous roar. The big chicken house starts to shake. Pop, pop, pop. The doors burst open. Whoosh! The roof flies away. Kaboom! In an instant, Hen's cage is aloft. Hen has never been on an amusement ride, of course, but this is what it feels like. Terrifying and thrilling, twirling and whirling through space, thinking you might be doomed. I might be doomed, thinks Hen. Clonk! The cage has landed. Hen struggles to get right side up. What is this place? She blinks, taking it all in. Sunlight. It streams into the cage. Colors, so many colors. The greenest greens, yellowest yellows, and reddest reds. Swoosh! Hen watches a silvery rush of flapping wings soar just beyond her cage before disappearing into the sky. Oof, that hurt. Hen's feathers are ruffled but she's in one piece. Cluck, 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 Hen says. Cluck, 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 cluck. Check, everyone is okay. Then she sees it, the open door. Hen takes a step, then another. For the first time ever, Hen is outside her cage in the fresh, breezy air. She basks in the warmth of the sun. She shakes her feathers, catching the wind in them. She sees a patch of bright green grass and bends to take a bite when... Ruff, ruff, ruff! Squawk! The chickens scatter in every direction and Hen discovers how quickly she can run. But whatever is coming after her is fast too. Hen feels his hot breath on her tail. She flaps her wings in a wild panic. Bop! Bix, come! Did you see what I saw, says the girl. Was that a chicken? Yeah, that was crazy, the boy says. I thought chickens were, you know, chicken. Maybe Bix is the chicken, the girl laughs. Come on, buddy, we gotta go. See you later. Hey there, chicken. Come on out, I won't hurt you, I promise. Hen freezes. Chicken, it's not safe for you to be out here all alone. But Hen doesn't budge. Are you hungry? I don't know if this is what chicken's like, but it's all I have. Hen thinks, I am hungry, but maybe he is too, and he might eat me. So Hen stays put. Sorry, chicken, but I can't wait anymore. I have to go. Finally, I thought he'd never leave, thinks Hen. But no sooner does Hen step out from her safe place when, vroom! Has any chicken ever had a day like this? Hen begins flapping her wings, and before she even knows what she's doing, she's in the air. 
I did that, Hen thinks. I flew. Chicken, hey chicken, that was close. My name is Mateo, says the boy. How about I call you Gwen? That's my house. It's a lot nicer than a tree branch. Want to come over? Gwen, of course, has no idea what Mateo is saying. She looks at the boy. She sees his bike and admires its sparkly, feathery streamers. And because Chicken can detect even the tiniest of things from far away, she notices that Mateo has scattered more cookie crumbs. But that's not the only reason she decides to hop down from the tree and follow Mateo home. Deep inside, Gwen, something is happening. She's starting to trust Mateo. It takes time to make a real friend, especially if one of the friends is a chicken and the other is a person. Mateo figures out what chickens do, and Gwen figures out what chickens do too. She likes to take dust baths and lifts herself in the air. And preen. And roost. Mateo also learns that chickens love being with other chickens. Gwen, look what I found. Gwen can hardly believe her eyes. It's her old friends. Mateo names them Jen, Sven, Ren, Zen, and Adrienne. Gwen cackles and lets him know how happy it makes her to be part of a flock. She lets Mateo know he's part of her flock too. And on days like this one, after a busy afternoon spent scratching for bugs to eat, kicking up enough dust for a bath, and counting all her chickens, she hops on another bike ride with Mateo. Come on, Gwen, says Mateo, as he helps settle her onto the handlebars. Let's hit it, she thinks. Let's fly. And off they go. The end. Thank you all for joining us for story time in the chicken yard. Um, if you want to learn more about us at Sweet Farm, please visit our website, sweetfarm.org. See you next time.